What's going on, everybody? This is Frank with Tours and Tales, and today I'm in Dalton, Georgia at West Hill Cemetery, and I'm going to be telling you a creepy tale about the Knockin' Tomb. Uh, it is actually uh, where the mausoleums are. It's actually in the back beside the old mausoleum. It is a uh, small mausoleum right here, uh, and I'm going to tell you the reason they call it the Knockin' Tomb. Uh, there is another one over here, uh, actually, uh, it's the original one that I'm going to be showing you after this one. The reason that I'm showing you this one, this is the one that I was brought to, uh, when I was younger. A buddy of mine brought me here at 12 o'clock one night, and he told me, he said, you go up and knock on that tomb. He said, it knocks back. I'm going to debunk this and tell you what's actually happen happening. Uh, I want to thank a subscriber of ours and a good buddy, Steve, for showing me where the original one's at and I'm going to be taking you there next to show you it. But right here beside the old mausoleum there's a small mausoleum right here and I am going to show you what is actually happened because when you knock on it it does knock back but there is a reason. But if you bring somebody up here that's scared of cemeteries late at night they're not going to stand around to see what's going on they're going to take off. Because it, it is kind of creepy about 12 o'clock. But actually, in the second one here, the area, there is no one placed in here yet and the door is not sealed. So if you knock on it, it actually knocks back. But the only thing that's happening is the door is not sealed and it's loose. Now, this is not the original one that people used to talk about back in the day. It is actually up here on the hill, and we are going to be walking there now. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. Years ago, um, the mausoleum that I am taking you to now, it's another small one. Actually, back in the day, it had a big wood door on it. Now, the door has been changed, so actually, it does not knock back anymore. But back in the day, what was happening when you knocked on it, on the wood door, it was just a big echo. You would knock on it and it would knock back, but it was just just an echo from the wood door bouncing off the marble inside. My good buddy Steve brought me up here and showed me where it was at and told me about the door that used to be on it. And it is actually right there. He said that years ago, they used to be, it used to be a big wood door on the front. Now they have a metal and glass door. He said back then when it had the wood door on it you come up here and knock on it real hard and it would knock back but actually it was an echo but with the metal and glass door nothing happens so they are really still a knocking tomb over here it's the first one that I showed you but if you pay attention and listen you can tell what's happening but this one here 
I wish I would have got to do it before they changed the door because it would have been neat because there wasn't actually anything moving or bouncing off of anything besides the echo bouncing off the marble inside. But I just wanted to show y'all the original knocking tomb and tell y'all that about the door that used to be on it and debunk that and tell you what's really happening. If you come into the main gates of West Hill Cemetery, um, you just come in and then take the first road to the right and then it's right up here on the right. And right up there is the Hardwick tomb. And then up on the hill is the Jesus statue. And it's right before you get to those. We have more creepy tales coming from this cemetery. And we just want to invite everyone to the channel, Tours and Tales. And come along and join us. We have tons of things planned that we're going to be doing. And if you have any creepy tales from West Hill Cemetery in Dalton, Georgia, comment below and let us know. Thank you. God bless. <laughs>